Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today it is time for my turn and burn project pan. I'm really, really enjoying this. It is an absolutely brilliant project pan. If you're new to panning, this is something that you may want to jump on board with because it's not too daunting, it's not too scary. And basically it is looking at using up all of your like minis. So it could be your samples, minis, deluxe minis, any product as long as it's not a full size product. This is run by the Fantastic Ladies, which is a Facebook group. They're absolutely lovely. They've got loads and loads of brilliant project pan ideas so if you're interested in that sort of thing go over and um, join and have a little look and introduce yourself i'll pop all the links to the facebook group down below plus details about this project pan so yeah turn and burn i think this is the fifth year it's been running it's really really popular one to do and i have been enjoying doing it because it's a great way of using up these smaller products in your collection and feeling like you're sort of having successful empties by sort of, it does help boost it because they're so small you can use them up really really quickly and then yeah you have like a real sense of achievement after you've finished them so these are the products from february that i chose i personally choose around about 20 products but you can choose as few or as many as you want it's completely up to you i really want to kind of like challenge myself and get a broad spectrum of products across quite a few different categories and um Personally, I choose anything as long as it's not makeup. I don't want any makeup in this project. So it's going to be like hair care, skin care, body care, maybe perfume samples, that type of thing. So yeah, and if I don't use a product in that month, I will roll it over to the following month. And then maybe after about three or four months, if that's still there and I haven't used it, I probably need to have a word with myself and then consider decluttering it. Because I think if I've already chosen that product, picked it out, it's been sat on my desk in front of me and if I still haven't used it after three or four months the chances of me using that once it's been packed away in my collection are probably practically zero so yeah I think I might be giving myself a four month window and if after four months I haven't used it out it goes okay so let us crack on um as I say yeah here are all my products from Feb there are a few that have been rolled over a few new products and then um, we'll do that once we've finished sort of like going through these and updating on this we will choose the March products and I think I'll do like a shop my stash style video again where we'll just have like a little rummage mainly through kind of this section all here is where I have a lot of like my skincare and hair care and then I've got some drawers here with more hair care things in oh and then my Alex drawers behind me have like body care and stuff like that so we will choose some products together and then then um, have a look little look at it so I'm trying to get a bit more organised with it and maybe trying to focus more on if I've got like a couple of hand creams set, then I won't be choosing that because I've already got some to use up. I'm going to try and be a bit more smart, a bit more smart, <laughs> trying to be smarter <laughs> when making my selections. OK, so the first thing we have is um, a rollover from last month and it is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This was a 30 ml um sample really really lovely product it just made my hair feel gorgeous when it blow dried it and then um, these are products that i wouldn't normally have reached for in my everyday kind of like getting ready but by having them here i kind of keep them in my little sort of acrylic drawers here and i think oh what have i got for my hair i'll open it up and then i'll just pick something out and use it so i've enjoyed using this so much really nice product but yes it is empty which is amazing Equally, I have finished this hair mask by Johansford. Um, it is an expert colour care anti-fade formula suitable for all hair types. I think there's only about half of a tube in that when I picked it anyway. So it was just one application and my hair felt amazing. I think I have got another one of these in my collection, so I'll leave it for now, but I will pick it out in the future again. But I enjoyed using that so much. Really, really did enjoy using it. Um... I've got a couple of little things here by Falaga. There were only seven mil tubes. So one was a Supreme Multi Correction Cream. So just like little moisturizers and things. That was really nice. I enjoyed using that. And um, the Ultra Lifting Cream. I don't know if it had a lifting effect. I mean, there's seven mils. It lasted maybe just over a week, maybe. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed using it, but I don't know the benefits that I'd have achieved if I'd have had like a larger sample to use. But it was a nice cream. It didn't break me out. I, yeah, I enjoyed using it. I think it had a really pleasant fragrance. Yeah, a really nice smell as well. So yeah, that was that. But that's gone too. Um, I had a little sleep and lift 
sachet this is a nice night cream and it did about three or four nights even though i think it was only about a mil in here there wasn't much but um it did last quite a while and it was a really nice cream and i enjoyed using that i have got this which is a firm and lift so it's a firm lift essence lotion by erno lasler and it's it was ever such a strange product i think it was a bit like a gel toner um it was blue it lasted quite a while and then at the end i just sort of sat it on its end that way for it to sit in the um in the neck of the bottle and i could just sort of get it out it was um like a gel consistency but when you put it on your skin it went it just felt like water um it was nice um but i don't know if it did anything or not but i finished it it's out my collection so i'm happy um, i'm quite successful with my skincare minis i think so i might focus on getting a few more of those because i've done very well with them hey uh, what else have i got this little sachet by nooks which was the prodigy huile de douche and it was a precious scented shower oil with golden shimmer so yeah they were like little sparkles in it but i can't say that you notice them on your skin after you'd had your shower but the smell is divine what i did do Ah, I remember now because it's a shower oil. And so the mistake I made was I emptied it onto like my shower puff. You know, like the little netted things that you use for like your shower gels. And because I did that, then I put it there. I couldn't really spread it across my body properly. So I was thinking in my head it was like a shower gel and not a shower oil. So I think what I would do if I had another one of these next time, I'd just probably pop it on my hand and then rub it straight into my skin and I'd get a better benefit of it that way. Or maybe use it when I was in the bath and just sort of... um use it just to sort of put over my body then so yeah don't use it with a shower puff because you just will not get the benefit of it which is a shame but it smelt amazing uh, i've got a couple of little perfume things here which i enjoyed using so we had the amazing grace i think that's a philosophy one isn't it really really nice i've had a bigger bottle of that before and then um, yeah that was really lovely um, I've also managed to finish up the, what is this, oh, Obsessed by Calvin Klein and I knew I liked that because I've got the full size, I'd had a spray of this beforehand, um, oh gosh, before Christmas when I first got it, really, really liked it and so um, I'd given my husband a little like list of perfumes I liked and this was one of the ones he bought me at Christmas time, so yeah, it was lovely. I have the Alien Man by Muggler, I haven't used this one, so no so that is going to be rolled over to next time now this when i picked this out i thought this was going to be absolutely amazing and it was the origins original skin cleansing makeup removing jelly with willow herb so this is it here i finished it but it was absolutely rubbish Um, it did not remove my makeup at all i used it as a first cleanse because you'd think if it was a makeup removing jelly that's what it should do it definitely doesn't remove um like mascara and things and it even struggled i mean i don't wear like lay i mean i wear foundation yes and i wear like my bronzer and blusher but i don't wear powder um i don't wear lots of heavy concealer at all or anything like that and it still struggled to take my base makeup off as well um i'd go in with a double cleanse which i usually do anyway but um i did i tried it once with using it just as a first cleanse and then came in and did some tone afterwards and i still had makeup on my face which was really really disappointing considering it says it's makeup removing jelly I would not recommend that have a close look i just thought it was absolutely terrible <laughs> um also by origins is this um retexturizing mask with rose clay i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot about it i had it sat in with my skincare thing i maybe need to pop it in with my masks but i forgot all about it so i'll roll that one over because i would like to use it um i didn't finish this either which was um a what is it? Michelin RCA <laughs> um, Aromatics and it was a bath oil. I think I've got probably enough for maybe like one more bath. So I'll just roll that over and that'll be out next time for certain. Surprisingly, I cannot believe I haven't finished this. And it was the Molten Brown Rhubarb and Rose. So again, just enough for one more bath. But um, I'll get that finished next time. I don't know why I just did I think I just... I put it in, in my bathroom 
but um i don't know i don't think i've had as many baths on an evening um this month normally um I, I really enjoy baths on the night, but we've been binge watching lots of um, TV and, that, and I get a shower in the morning, but, um, and then usually like if I've come home from work, I'd get a, a bath and then we'd watch some telly, but I've just been sort of coming back and getting a wash and get my jammies on um, without bathing. So um, I think that's why I've just not had as many bubble baths. Don't know. Um, next thing I've got, again, I've not finished this one and it was a number four and it was the blow dry lotion. This is nearly done. I reckon maybe just, I think I'm about to about here. So maybe one or two more uses. Yep. So I'm gonna roll this one over. This smells amazing. And your hair feels amazing, but just um, just when you go about your day, it just smells like you've been to the salon. It just, I absolutely love it. I think it's one of my most favorite fragranced hair products of all time. It is just stunning. I cannot wait to use that again next time. This, ah, oh, it is the Perfume Reed um, Volumizing No Oil Oil. I used it maybe about four times. I had thought I was going to be able to finish it off, which was maybe a little bit naive of me. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to mark this and then I'll pop it in next time and I'll maybe aim to use it a couple of times a week and we'll see how it does over the month and then whether it's sort of something realistic that I can get finished in the month or if I'm going to have to um, just roll it out and then bring it back in at another time. But um, I didn't mind it. I know some people don't like this. Um, it was okay. I'm not sure. It didn't make my hair feel greasy or anything. You kind of put it in at your roots and then work it through to the ends. And it was, it was fine, but it looks like hardly anything has come out. So yeah, I'll give it another go and see how I get on with it. I have finished up my Kath Kitson um, hand cream. Really, really pretty. You can see it's all been squished. Um, it's just a bit like posh baby lotion though, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it smelled very similar to baby lotion. Looked like baby lotion. But obviously it's calf kits and hand cream and it's not baby lotion but it was nice not the most moisturizing hand creams but it was nice enough to use um i still haven't used the sanctuary spa one minute daily glow mask i need to just i don't know why i've not used it um i think it's because i'm wanting to do a video on it and i don't know if that's what's just sort of stopped me from using it so maybe i just need to get it used up and not worry about filming a review. I can always just chat about it here in my updates next month. So yeah, I'm going to roll that one over. I think next time, if I haven't used it by the end of next month, I'm going to um, pass it on to somebody else. And then I have another treatment that I haven't used. I just feel like I've not done as well this month. And this was the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Flash Perfection Exfoliating Treatment. Um, it says it mattifies and invigorates. That's it there. Not to be confused with the pink clay mask. They're in the same packaging. Um, and I think because it just says on the back, like to do like a test patch, but it doesn't give any clear instructions. I had it sat in my bathroom, but I haven't used it. So I think I'm going to, when I finish filming this, I'm going to get on the website, read about it, read the instructions properly, and then I'm going to be more likely to use it. But I do want to get that one used up. So I'm going to carry that forward. Ooh. Oh, another one I've not used. And this was the Philip Kingsley Frizz Fighting Gloss. Um, I just, I don't think I really like it. I have got another one because they've updated the packaging. So what I might, oh, I don't know. I think it made my hair feel a little bit dirty. I didn't use that much. But I might just, and so I've stopped using it, if I'm honest. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it. I'll roll it over. I'll give it another month, see what I really think about it. Try and focus really, really hard. I'm going to have a, a real focused march, I think, and just like work very hard like I did in January. But I think this might get decluttered at the end of March. Um, now, I have used my hand mask, which was rolled over from January. And this was by Skimona. So I did, um, I popped a picture on my Instagram, I think, of me using this. Um, really, really nice. So it's got shea butter, aloe vera, and hyaluronic acid. And so you basically put these masks on, leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes, I think it said, was it? I left them on for absolutely ages. I was watching telly. And you can still use your phone with these masks on. <laughs> um, you can, this touch screen still works with them, which was great. And then... Um, my hands felt really, really nice. And I did it because my hands had been feeling really tight. I'd had a couple of days at work, lots and lots of hand washing. And I popped these on and it 
honestly they felt great when i first put my hands in i thought oh there doesn't seem to be much product in here but once i sort of they'd been on for about five minutes and i think the heat from my hands um you could feel the product in there so i started like massaging it in whilst i had the, the gloves on and i really really enjoyed using this so if i do get another one in one of my other boxes i will i won't leave it sat in my collection for ages like this one was i will definitely get it used up pretty quickly but yeah a really nice product if you've got that and you've got dry chapped hands get it out because it is really really nice now this was really disappointing and it was the give me ultimate face fix hyaluronic acid sheet mask and it says it promotes smoother plumper skin reduces visibility of fine lines and wrinkles and aids skin cell production so a few problems with this one um now this was gifted to me but the eye holes were really close together to begin with so when you put your mask on it just didn't feel comfortable on your face and i don't think it was very big either i think it felt like a slightly smaller mask and um, but definitely the eye holes were a problem it, it it just wasn't comfortable and after i'd used this my skin broke out really really badly so there's something in here that does not agree with me and i never well i very rarely get like breakouts i might get the odd little spot but nothing much you know but literally i had about 10 all the way around here you can see they're just about gone but i started using my um i got the retinal reface i just posted on instagram about it today so it's the Ret retinal reface by indeed labs started using that at night and honestly it's just like within two days it's virtually like fixed my skin it's incredible i love it but this, I would even if I got given another one, I would not use it. I'd pass it on to somebody else, or I might even just declutter it because not a fan. It was just, I think it's one of the worst masks I've ever used. I just hated it. And then I still haven't used this. It's the Baby Silky Foot Mask, it's a sheet mask. I've just realised. I should have looked at this better. I thought it was the peeling mask, which is the reason why I didn't do it. Because otherwise I'd have done it at the same time as my hand mask. Because I I have got a peeling mask and I'm wanting to do a video on that. And again, I just wasn't ready to, to film a video that night. So I'm literally kicking myself now because I could have used this. But um, I might just use this tonight now. So this will roll over to the March one. But that's that. So what I'm going to do, let me just have a little look and split this into categories of what i've got rolling over but the amount of empties i've got from this that i finished success oh there's another perfume sorry there was a boss the scent for her finished that that was really nice really nice the only thing that annoys me with these little bottles is i like the ones that are a spray these ones where you just pull the lid off and have to pour they're just so messy and it's like you try not to get loads all over or it just ends up dripping down your fingers or or something but yeah so how many did i finish off so i've got like the two masks so that's two three four five six seven eight <laughs> nine ten oh eleven 12, 13, 14. Actually, that's not too bad. So I finished 14 minis, so that's okay. But getting rolled over, I've got quite a lot. I've got foot masks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 10 rolling over. So I'm going to just have a little look at this, um, get in my head what sort of things I've got and then we will um go make our choices okay so these are what we're going to be carrying over just a quick overview before we do the selection so i have got a foot mask i've got a um a couple little treatments there and a liquid mask so i don't think i need to choose any liquid masks um a little perfume i've got a couple of hair things there i think you can probably choose another styling product um, a couple of bath things and i think we can definitely choose some bath things as well so okay um skincare we can go heavy on the skincare because really there's not a right lot in there is this so let's get choosing okay so i'm gonna try and choose a cleanser i think see if i've got any little minis have i got any minis oh my word what's
Ooh. Okay, so this is a charcoal exfoliating and cleansing pad. Right, we'll get that. And here's a organic pharmacy rose. Oh, that sounds nice. Rose facial cleansing gel. So we'll have that. So that's like kind of cleansers covered. Um, I've got one exfoliating thing there. Is there anything else I want here? No. Okay. Masks, I've got... I don't think we need any liquid masks because we have got some, so we'll not have that. Let's have this. A little Body Shop Moringa Bath Bubble. I've not had anything like that for ages. Okay. And... Is there anything else bath-wise that I want in here? Let's see. Okay, so we've got the Tea Tonic by Miller Harris. And it is a shower wash. So, yeah, we'll use that one. Um, Hair-wise. So, I think we need some styling things, don't we? Because the blow-dry spray is nearly finished. Um... Got in here. I'm trying to think, make sure I choose something that we don't have a full size of. Okay, we'll have this and it is the Bumble and Bumble B6 hair dryers, dryers, <laughs> hairdressers in visible oil. Um, and then is there anything in here that I want? No, let's come down to the skincare things and see what we have in here. do we get in a couple of little mini moisturizers i think what have we got here so this is the prey platinum firm and lift cream okay we'll have that that's quite a nice size little tub actually how much is in there because that might be all i need to choose 10 mils yes let's not be too enthusiastic this time so i'll just choose that one and then we will have a look. Oh, that's my knees cracking. Did you hear them? <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to get this one again. I've had one of these before, just fairly recently. And it is the um, Kiehl's. It's like the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's like a little night serum. So I'll have one of those. And then I don't think there's anything else in there that I want. Are there any more? Oh, there's more little mini turners in here. What have I got here? So we'll get this one, which is by Dr. Jart, and it is a ceramidin liquid. Not sure what that is. I'm going to have to read up about that. Um, anything hair-wise? Oh, let me move this candle. I don't want to set my thing on fire. So what have we got here? We haven't got any hair masks, have we? I do love a mask, so I know I can get through some of these because I'll definitely, definitely use them. Okay, let's try this one by the um, Shu Umure. And this is a hydro nourishing treatment for dry hair. Okay, we'll have that. And I'll have another one of these. I know I can use these, so I'm just gonna, and then I'll get something else as well. What else have I tried? Okay, this is a bit different. A thermal treatment wrap. Detox and balance mask with blueberry, blackberry and sea kelp extract. Um, I have no idea, but it looks like you wrap it around your hair. So we'll give that a go. That is a review video waiting to happen. Right, no more hair things. That's enough from that. Um, sheet masks. Let me move that away. 
I do get carried away with my products, but I'm trying to choose things from different categories, and at least then we've got a good chance. Let me move this out of the way. I am quite organised in my chaos, you know. <laughs> I don't know who I'm trying to convince there, me or you. Right then, let's have a look here. We'll just pull up a couple that I've not used for a while. Oh, well, that I've had in my collection for a while, sorry. Okay, so I'll have this one by Beauty Pro, which is a warming gold foil mask with hyaluronic acid. That sounds nice. I can definitely get another sheet mask as well. Oh, this is one of those gimmicky ones, isn't it? Um, a slice sheet mask. It was all the individual bits of strawberries. Is it still in date? Yes. Oh, no. It's expired. Right, I need to declutter that one. Good, I didn't want to use it. <laughs> um, all right, so this is a milk mask. Okay, I'll try that. And then I really want to use a space mask. I haven't used one of those yet. And have we got any lip masks or something? Ooh. I'm getting carried away. Cellulose eye mask. That sounds nice. <laughs> and a lip mask. That's an eye mask. There's a lip mask, we'll have that. Oh, I've only just got that one. Let me get some one that I've had for ages. Have I got my lip masks in here? There's one here. Okay. I know there's a lot here, but they're all like individual kind of like single use products. So I know I can use them. Okay, so here are all my products. Now there does look a lot for a month, but there are an awful lot of single-use products this month, so I'm not feeling too worried. So I'm going to run through really, really quickly what I've chosen. So I've got these little perfume samples first of all, but so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. However, there are a couple here, if you can see, that I've just got such a small amount in, probably a single spray and then they'll be done but i've got them in my collection so they just need to get out so it's a really good way of just making a conscious effort so it's going to take no time at all to use those so those little perfume samples there we've got this um hair wrap mask which looks really really interesting so i'm looking forward to trying that i've also got another hair mask here and this one here so i know i can use those really really easily um, we've got this really cute little like bath bubble bomb, which I'm looking forward to using. So again, single item. I have got my bubble bath, which is literally going to be one use and then it's one or two and then it's done. I have some shower wash to use. So that should definitely get used up through the month. It's only, there's 50 mils, but um, yeah, that's only a small one. That'll get done nicely. Got a tiny bit of bath oil, which maybe a couple of baths and then that's finished. So I've chosen this Bumble and Bumble, which is Invisible Oil Primer. I really like this when I used it, but literally there's hardly anything left in there. So it's not like it's a full bottle to use up. I've tried to pick products where there are sort of like bits just left in it, either single use or they just need finishing off. So yeah, that'll get finished. We have the Cleansing Gel by The Organic Pharmacy, I think. That probably feels like it's about two thirds full. So, I mean, I use cleanser twice a day. And um, so I double cleanse at night and then I just have like a, a regular, just like, like simple cleanse in the morning. So this is carried over, isn't it? So this is like a make or break for the Philip Kinsley Frizz Fighting Gloss. And I have got another one as well. So if I haven't used this at the end of the month, I'm gonna declutter it. But the no volumizing, sorry, the volumizing, no oil, oil by Percy and Reed. I just can't get down this. I'm going to give it a little go, see how I get on. I have actually, oh, I did mark it last time. I didn't realize. Let's have a look and see. So you can see I have made a bit of progress on it. 
So I'll mark it again and we'll see how we get on. And it may be one that I just roll out next time because I don't think I need to use it all the time. And I don't think I'm going to finish it, but I'll get a bit more use out of it. Um, I will definitely finish this. It's only probably got one more use in it. And this is the number four that I talked about. I absolutely love it. I picked up the, the Prey Platinum and Firm and Lift Cream. This has lovely stuff. I've used their neck and decolletage stuff, but I haven't used like their regular sort of um, moisturizer. That's what I'm trying to think of. So we'll see what that's like. 10 mils, so that'll see me through the month. I've got this, which I don't really know what it is by Dr. Jart. So I'm going to have to look on the website and get some information about that. This is a rollover. So obviously we just need to use this Rose Clay mask up. Equally, I need to get this used up. It's a one minute daily glow mask. How hard can it be to use that up? And I need to use this, but I do need to have a look at the instructions online. This will be interesting. Again, that's going to just be a single use thing. Not sure what it is really, but um, yeah, I'll give that a go. And then a lip mask. It's been like a couple of years since I've done a lip mask. I have got a few in my collection now. So it'd be nice just to give that a go and get one used up out of my collection. And then I have a few of these as well. And I do get a little bit headachey as well. I do spend a lot of time on my phone and devices and then at work I'm on the computer inputting records and things. So yeah, I need to just try them. Everyone swears by them and says they're amazing. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Have I mentioned this? Can't remember, but it's lovely. I'll get that used up, no problem. Um, so by haven't tried these actual eye masks and it's actually a while since I've done any I've got really lazy with them so by pulling it out at least I'll have one use of them they make such a difference to your under eyes so I'm looking forward to those little sheet mask another sheet mask and then rolling over this foot mask so I'm going to add up everything and I'll pop it on the screen and then I'll come around and finish off okay guys here is everything for March <laughs> look at it all I must be absolutely crazy 31 products but it is spring i'm feeling hopeful we're 31 days in the month and i actually feel i can use all of these up i might struggle actually with the person read no oil oil as i've already mentioned but i reckon everything else is fair game i'm feeling motivated i'm going to set myself a challenge to actually get every single thing used up this month i just want all this done and gone but um yeah because i've had a lot of products coming in i need to really focus at like really working hard at using stuff up there's no point getting products in if you're not going to use them so if you want to join in this challenge it's not too late head over to the fantastic ladies get yourself signed up it's um it's great fun and it's such a good way of using up all the small products that we get in our beauty boxes and things like that or that you get like in like your magazines when you get little sachets and stuff so thank you as always i will see you all again very very soon take care guys thank you for watching bye for now